I'm Eric Anderson with Seymour Mapping. Uh, we're here off the coast of Jupiter, Florida. Today, um, I've got Evan Martzel from Teradept here with me, uh, who's, who's brought some very interesting technology that we've uh, never used before. Evan, you want to tell them a little bit about it? Sure. So what we operate at Teradept is a, a fleet of Teledyne Gavia AUVs, which are capable of operating in a force multiplier solution with surveying alongside Eric's boat, as well as surveying autonomously by themselves anywhere from, say, one liter of water all the way out to, say, 3,000. Give us a, just a quick understanding of, of what the system looks like and what it does and what it's capable of. So the autonomous underwater vehicle from Teledyne, the Gavia, is about, say, a 10 to 12 foot long vehicle. It's a modular vehicle, so you can put different sensors uh, on it very quickly, as well as swap batteries very quickly. So one mission typically operates around 12 hours, and we collect bathymetric data, uh, as well as side scan data that can be used in a many different commercial applications, one of which is what we're doing here with Seymour today. So, so we're taking this torpedo looking device with the sonars on it, we're setting a mission, throwing it in the water, and uh, setting it and forget it, and kind of just let it go out and map. That's correct. So the best thing about the solution is it's fully autonomous. So once we set it off on its mission, uh, we have the rest of the 12 hours to do whatever we want. So we've also been mapping alongside of it, because so Eric has his multi-beam on the boat that some of you see out mapping off the southern coast of Florida. He's out mapping at the same time as we're running our autonomous vehicle. So once we have the system down, it's run its mission, it, it comes back to the surface and sends us a satellite signal which says, hey, I'm here, come pick it up. Then, uh, and after we pick up the, 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 the vehicle, um, how do we create you know, a, a solution that goes to the chart? Well, again, luckily Eric has a really nice vessel here. And once we get the, the AUV back on deck, we can very quickly download the raw data, do some processing, and then produce a, uh, an underwater map of the seafloor, whether that be from the bathymetric data uh, that produces the 3D topology everyone's used to seeing in the Seymour product, or a side scan technology, which takes a very high resolution image of the seafloor as well. So, so really what this is going to do, it's going to give us super detailed imagery in deep water. Um, then we take that solution from you and we literally integrate it into what we're already offering, which is a charting solution. So now our customers will be able to have extremely high detail um, of, of those rocks and wrecks in very deep water. That's correct. So the mapping you've been doing on your surface-based vessel has been fantastic, but occasionally you're bumping up against those deeper contours where you need high-resolution data, which really requires, at the end of the day, a sensor being closer to the seafloor with being able to collect that data. So that's where our Gavia AUVs come in. We're here off the coast of uh, Jupiter, Florida to investigate some uh, deep water anomalies in a, a pretty large search area. So what we're getting ready to do here is we're getting ready to drop the, uh, the R2 Sonic multi-beam, which we're going to be able to collect some high resolution uh, multi-beam from the surface. And then we've got our force multiplier over here, which is the Gavia AUV um, from TerraDepth. The guys here are over here uh, getting it balanced so that we can go ahead and uh, drop it down and run uh, concurrent operations here at the same time. So. Uh, Big things in the works here. So, so we just identified a um, uh, an object in the seafloor here. We're not sure what it is. Um, we ran over top of it with the uh, with the R2 Sonic multi beam, but in this depth of water, we weren't able to really uh, to identify what the object is because of the resolution of the sonar. So we're getting ready to drop down the uh, Terra Depth uh, Gavia AUV so we can get some extremely high resolution side scan sonar um, and uh, bathymetry bathymetry of the object. Um, with the, uh, with the vehicle being very close to the, the, uh, the object that we just discovered. Mm -hmm. 